Hi guys, it's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to part three of trying on everything that I own in my closet. Today we are doing jeans, basics, and pants because I do have some trousers and things that aren't jeans, but I do have a lot of jeans. And last year in January, I also tried on all of my jeans and I found it to be one of the most beneficial things that I've done in terms of closet cleanouts because obviously it's great to gain any more space and room in your closet, but I feel like with jeans especially, it's very intimidating to try them all on, but it, I promise it feels really good at the end to know that you only have pairs that fit you today and that make you feel great. If you have any jeans or clothes you need to try on, put this long video on while you do it and we'll get through it together. Starting out with a pair of jeans I'm currently wearing. These are obviously a keeper. I just wanted to kind of show you the style of jean I've been gravitating towards the most and that is a mid-rise with rigid denim and a straight leg that is loose even in the thigh. I feel like this past year I started wearing baggier and baggier jeans and now wearing anything tight in the thigh is just uncomfortable. So that's something I'm going to be looking out for. I also don't want anything super tight in the stomach area because I bloat a lot. It's natural and if I know that a pair of jeans is uncomfortable, I'm not going to wear them and so they're going to sit and collect dust in my closet and we don't want that. These are the Levi's 501 90s jeans and they're some of my favorite pairs of jeans. I actually have them in three colors now. I've slowly bought them over the year, um, but this is my favorite light wash pair of jeans. Here are the same jeans, but in cream. And if you're not a fan of white jeans, I would highly suggest kind of a like cream or beige off-white color. I love this pair. They are so cute. I wore them a lot in the spring and summer, but even for winter, it's just kind of like a nice change. And here they are in black. I thought I would just show you them all in a row. I was gonna try these on going from like lightest to darkest, but here are those same Levi's 501 90s. I just love these jeans and they're always on sale. They fit true to size. I couldn't recommend them enough. This is my other pair of black jeans. They are vintage Levi's and honestly, they're just less comfortable than the last pair and almost identical aside from the fact that these are vintage and those are modern. So I feel like for that reason, I already know I'm gonna get rid of these. This is the keep pile. This is the get rid of pile. These are probably my favorite pair of jeans I got this year. And if you watch my videos, you know that. These are the A-Gold Low Slung Baggy Jeans and they look so cute with heels or boots. I wear them with ballet flats. They're just a really versatile and comfortable jean. I also got them in my usual size. I know their jeans run big, but I just went with my usual size for these and they are amazing. I have a couple pairs of vintage Levi's because my boyfriend works in denim and he is just always buying jeans and has pairs that don't fit him. So I've kind of gathered quite a few pairs. I think I have like three. I like the splatter on the leg and they're low rise, they're super comfortable, but I don't need all of these. So let me know which of these pairs is your favorite. Here's the second pair. The washes are definitely very similar, but they are super comfortable. I love how deep the pockets are with a men's vintage jean. It's amazing. This is the third pair. I would say it's a little bit lower waisted and it has some distressing here. And I hate to say it, they're literally all perfect. And I just gotta say thanks to Kyle on that one. <laughs> I just feel like these have a little bit more room in the hip than I need, so I think I'm gonna part with these. The depth of these Reformation pockets in comparison to the last two is honestly like comical. I wear these jeans all the time. They are the Cynthia jean from Reformation and they are as high-waisted and tight in the leg I feel like I'll go right now. They also are just a tiny bit shorter than my other jeans, so I feel like they just break up what I have, but I wear this dark wash a lot more than the light wash version, so I already know I think I'm gonna sell these. I just kind of like a little bit darker of denim and they're just a little tight, a little too high-waisted and I find myself gravitating towards my mid and darker wash jeans. 
This is the only denim skirt I have right now. I got rid of two other ones that were shorter and one that had more volume. And ultimately I feel like this is the most flattering on me. With a boot, it really elongates your legs and it's just kind of a fun switch up if you do wear jeans a lot. I've had these jeans for like two years and the last time I tried them on, they were way too tight and I practically almost got rid of them. But now suddenly, they fit. I don't know if it's just because I'm not bloated right now, but I do in fact love these jeans. If anything, they're a little bit short, but I just love the color of them. They're from Lisa Says Ga, and I am glad I get to keep them. I had been like, thinking about thrifting a pair of brown jeans and now I don't need to. These are a pair of bootcut jeans from Redone. So they're really expensive. I feel like that's why I've held on to them for a few years, but I am just not loving how high-waisted they are. And I feel like I just don't gravitate towards a boot cut. If I want a wide leg, I want it starting wide at the hip. I don't want it starting wide at the knee. It's just, it has to go. These are the Reformation carry jeans and I actually bought these knowing I was gonna get rid of these because I wanted a charcoal jean in my closet. I wanted a wide leg, but I didn't wanna buy those a gold low slung baggy jeans because they are almost $300. Whereas these I wanna say were 150 maybe. I'll link them in the description, but they are super soft, super comfortable. They give you that wide leg, but they don't feel restricting in any way. I have two pairs of overalls and these are definitely the pair I would recommend to everyone. They're the vintage straight leg overall from Levi's and they're just really versatile. I got them in my usual size, but you could size up even more if you wanted like a super slouchy look, if you wanted to roll the legs. I think that is such a cute look. I've always been a fan of overalls, but I, I do recognize they're kind of niche. I haven't worn these in a while. Actually, I feel like I tend to go for my denim pair more. Sorry, I just got kind of distracted and styled these overalls because I haven't worn them in a while. And I was like, would I still wear them? And then I looked in the mirror and was like, yes, I would. And I actually love them. So these are from Everlane and I will be keeping them as well. Today's video is also sponsored by Squarespace. If you're looking to create a website or new brand or business this year, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. They make it easy to create a professional looking website, engage with your audience and sell anything from product to content, even your own time, all in one place. They have thousands of flexible website templates that are completely customizable to your needs and make it easy to update content or change your look whenever you want to. I've been using Squarespace to host my website for years and they are constantly making improvements. I love their reimagined drag and drop technology. It's just made the entire process even more intuitive. You don't have to be a professional to have a professional looking, really cool website thanks to Squarespace. You can even connect your social media sites, get a custom domain, and have access to thorough analytics about the back end of your website, where visitors are coming from, and just really important information if you are using it for business purposes. If you're interested, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash lindsayrem or use my code to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Back to the video. Now for some stretchy, kind of like breezy pants. These I feel are just a little bit too short on me. I felt that I felt that way from the beginning. So I'm just gonna go with my gut and let go of these. I want to keep these because they fit really well. They're kind of like a cotton linen blend. They're from Lisa Says Ga, but I just hate that you can see the pockets through them. They are not double lined and it's fine if pants are a little bit sheer. I'll just wear nude undergarments, but being able to see the pockets just, I feel like makes them look a lot cheaper than they were. So I just always wear them with something oversized that covers the pockets, but it's just kind of annoying. I'm gonna keep them though, because 
I have them and they are a good length. These are from Reformation. I have them in two colors and I'm keeping them. Here they are in white. They are just such a versatile pant, but I don't think I would buy them full price. I got them both at sample sales. They are unlined drawstring pants. The name of this brand is Smock Studios. I also got them at a sample sale. It was like a more random one though that had a bunch of brands and I've yet to wear them because I feel like they just really look like pajama pants, but I think I just need to like lean into it and wear them with like a fun sweater and maybe be some loafers and just like, I don't know, rock the pajama pant trend because they're super comfortable. They're like a breezy cotton poplin. I'm going with my gut on these. They are a little too high-waisted and a little too tight in the stomach to be comfortable. I haven't worn them all year. I know that you guys love these. I Anytime I've shown them in videos, everyone is like, where are those from? The color is so good. I'll put them up on my Depop. They're from La Casa. And I got them tailored to my height because they were extremely long, but I'm 5'6", so I don't feel like they are too short now. If these were just one size bigger, I would probably keep them. Genuine question. Um, do you guys see me as someone that wears slacks? Because I've held on to these. Primarily for styling videos, I haven't worn them in my life since 2020. They were definitely a little bit looser then and now they require me to stand straight up. If they were a maybe in last year's closet clean out and I haven't worn them since, they're a no. I think I wore these once this year, which just doesn't feel like enough to really want to keep them in my closet. So I think I'm going to challenge myself to wear them this month since I'm trying to do a no buy. I typically do that in January and putting these in the maybe pile for now, but they're super comfortable, which is what makes me want to wear them more. I just do have to wear them with like more oversized shirts because I don't want to have my lower stomach out. Personal preference, completely completely a personal preference. These are making me rethink the last pair because I just instantly got happy putting these pants on. So I think I'm gonna move this pair into the goodbye pile because I have other black trousers. I actually have some over here that I probably should include in this video. These are vintage Guess snakeskin pants and I wore them maybe like three or four times just this summer. I love them, I've had them for a while. They are just like super flattering and I feel like I need to wear them for winter. I haven't ever styled them with any of my chunky sweaters and I feel like that would be super cute. These are the black trousers that were just on my rack. They are honestly the perfect trouser. They're from La Casa. They're flowy. They're comfortable. They're everything I wish that these were. So I'm definitely keeping them and I feel like, no, I'm not buying any more trousers. When I opt for a fun pant, I feel like I would automatically go for the snakeskin and these ones just are not getting as much love as they deserve. Here are the pants, but with a leather jacket and some ballet flats. I feel like the ballet flat is kind of key if you do have a tapered or shorter jean. For now, I'm gonna keep them just because they are such a like unique vintage find and they're very stretchy, they're comfortable. Definitely keeping these, they are the Jimmy pant from Cezanne and they're basically just like a nice big pleated pant. They're just super versatile, they're stretchy and those are just my favorite things. I want a pair of pants that can be comfortable before and after dinner. These are definitely some of my most worn pairs of pants this year. They are the Reformation Bailey pant. I actually ended up buying them in two sizes because I wanted like a more fitted pair and a more baggy pair. This is my true size. So this is the like slightly more fitted pair, but they just are a baggier pant and I find them so fun to style. I love them. And the last pair of jeans in this bin are these very cute, standing jeans that I have from the brand Holiday. They are so cute. I love the detail that they have on the front and they don't have butt pockets. They're just such an interesting pair of pants. Every time I wear them, I get compliments, but they are made for standing. They are just so snug. And for that reason, I just don't gravitate towards wearing them. But every time I do put them on, I like the way that they look. I'm torn. Now, all of my basic tees are under here, but I am losing daylight fast, so I might just have to try these on as fast as possible and do some voiceover or just a quick yes or no. 
I have way too many t-shirts and a lot of them are similar, so I'm just gonna show which ones I'm keeping and which ones I'm getting rid of because a lot of these were just stretched or worn out and you do have to buy new basics every couple years just to keep them looking fresh. I will link my favorites in the description box from Reformation, Michael Stars, Aritzia, that are super high quality and hold up over time because you wash and wear these more than the majority of your other clothing. And I do always hang mine to dry. That is something that I will suggest. Those are all the t-shirts I'm keeping and those are all the t-shirts I'm getting rid of. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to check out Squarespace. Bye guys.